Hey guys, Ken Smith, Ken Smith Fishing. So, uh, this is the first time I've ever done this. We're going to post four videos this week, and this is purely bonus footage uh, in my video yesterday where I took you through the Bass Cat, my new Bass Cat Lynx walkthrough. I told you I had shot a short video with Andrew. It's about five minutes at the end of this where he walks us through what inventory they have right now. So if you're in the market for a new boat and you don't want to wait on a build, because everybody, it don't matter the manufacturer, everybody is way out there on build times or having problems getting parts. They're just, they have a ton of orders. It's just a busy, busy time. So if you want to uh, check out what Ross has, stick around to the end of this video. Also, don't forget this week on Saturday is the Zavala volunteer fire departments charity tournament you can see right there on the screen you can contact thomas if you're interested in fishing that if you haven't been on raver i haven't but it is a whack fest right now it's so uh, they're saying it's fishing as good as it's ever fished uh moon pie won a tournament this weekend with 26 pounds he had a seven and an eight and a bunch of other good fish uh, i mean it's just the kid matter of fact brian Branham, my, my guide buddy you guys have seen me down there with called me and said, can you get down here for a day? And I'm like, man, I can't. I got the classic stuff going on this week. He goes, dude, he goes, we're having 50 and 60 and 100 day fish. Matter of fact, I saw on his Facebook page, they had a clicker that 104 day uh, a fish day. So apparently it's fishing really, really good. So if you get a chance to get on Rayburn, now remember a lot of ramps are closed. To my knowledge, Castle Boykins is open. Um, I think uh, I think Powell's still open on the south end, uh, and then uh, Jackson Hill and Shirley, I think, are the four ramps that are open. If somebody knows different than that, please add it in the comments below. The lake's still over 10 feet or right at 10 feet high, so there's a ton of water, and it's quite a mess down there right now. Um, don't forget Bass Champs on the 19th of this month at Tawakany, so Terry and I will be over there. And then uh, this weekend, uh, I'll be over at the Classic for sure on Friday. I'm gonna spend a little bit of time between one and two o'clock uh, in the Bass Cat booth. So I'd love to, if you're out over there cruising around, please stop by and say hello. I think Rick will be there with me. So if you wanna meet Rick Pierce, I think that's probably a pretty good chance to do that as well. So um, should be a really good time down there. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, so <laughs> we're gonna do the spark drawing. Now, by the way, so we have, We've given away a ton of money. I think we've given away eight grand in three of the three of the four divisions in Bass Champ and 14 grand in the other one. So eight, 16, 24. So 38 grand in those three. We got another five grand coming in the championship. We've got, if you catch an eight plus pound fish and submit it to Sherlocker and get it approved, you're gonna win. And you're either a spark energy customer or a spark fishing member 75 bucks is all it costs to join it you catch an eight plus you submit it to share locker when it gets approved you submit it to spark fishing they'll pay you 250 a bounty if you will uh, we're trying to help park and wildlife get all that data they can on those big fish if it's 10 or bigger it's 500 that's what i cashed by the way at uh, at rayburn and then if it's over 13, it's a thousand. And oh, by the way, so I caught my 10 and then I caught that eight at Ray Roberts, or excuse me, at Ray Hubbard. But I had I caught the eight first, I'd have made 250. And when I caught the 10, they'd have paid me the other 250. So they'd have made me whole. So don't think you got to hold a small fish thinking you're going to catch a 10 pounder later this year. Uh, they'll pay you all of it. So it's a pretty great deal. And then at the end of the year, in eight, uh, three, five, nine lakes, excuse me we have a big bass tournament going on. So again, Spark Energy customers, Spark Bass members, uh, you submit a fish eight plus pounds to Sheer Lunker, it's approved. We know what lake it came out of because you submit that data. And at the end of the year, we're gonna pay an additional two grand to the biggest fish out of Ray Roberts, Toledo, Rayburn, Cedar Creek, Conroe, Texoma, Amstead, Falcon, and Fort. And I am pretty sure the only fish that's been submitted so far this year is my 10 and a half pounder out of, out of Rayburn. I think the other eight lakes, there's not even been an eight pounder weight. I'll ask to confirm that this week, but I'm almost sure that's right or I think they have told me. So pretty crazy. Uh, a lot of money still available uh, for a $75 or just for changing your energy over to Spark Energy. Uh, they've really supported us this year. and I hope you guys will support them back even through the end of the year so that hopefully they'll do this again for us next year. I know they're interested in doing it, but uh, we need to show them that we're interested in them doing it and by you guys either changing your energy provider or uh, 
or joining spark fishing, you're doing that. So let's check out with Andrew now. I, the, to my knowledge, the one boat I think they have a, a deposit on in this video is the Bass Cat Hybrid. I don't know if it's sold or not, but here's the inventory with Andrew. Uh, and there's quite a bit. I was really surprised. Let's check it out. Hey guys, so we just did the walkthrough with my boat and uh, we did it in a space that was the service center here at Ross Motorsports. But what you're gonna see is it's now a showroom and y'all got something nobody else has got, right? You got, this is Andrew, by the way, so y'all seen him. We do have some inventory. So we do still have some 2021 showing up. This boat came in last week, uh, 2021 Puma FTD SP, that's a special price package. Now this is a 2020 Puma FTD SP. Now this is a 2020, I just got it in. A dealer up north went out of business and the boat went back to Bass Cat, Bass Cat shipped it to me. So it's a 2020, but it's new. It's brand new, it's never been serviced out and it does have a show on it. So that's kind of like finding a unicorn. It's, there's not many shows out there. For those of you who would look for a unicorn, I've man, personally, you know, I, I'm, I'm a black motor guy, whatever. Yeah, you gotta have Japanese engine every now and then. I have a 2021 Cougar Hybrid. Uh, this boat is equipped with three Garmin's, Garmin trolling motor, Bob's hydraulic jack plate and it is powered by a Mercury V8, but that is the hybrid. That's gonna be the champion bottom like the first boat video right. you've done. Yeah. Yeah. And then I have this, this is a Cougar FTD. This is a traditional hull. Again, I have it with three Garmin's, Garmin trolling motor and Bob's hydraulic jack plate. So these are all my 2021s. I also have this purple basket over here. That is a used purple 2021 era. That's a pretty boat. That is, that boat has Point two hours on it. We cranked it on the hose, customer left with it, and he never took it off the trailer. So it's it's a smoking deal to get you in a basically a brand new boat. That's a really pretty boat. I'm sure there's a story there, but let's not go into it. <laughs> no, a, we're gonna a, skip that one. That's a pretty boat. But no, we do have some inventory. We got them in our showroom now to where we're keeping them dry, trying to keep all the pollen off of them. And then what you got here? This is a boat, it is a 2020. This is a used uh, G3 Sportsman. So G3 is owned by Yamaha, same company owns Skeeter. Uh, but this is their aluminum boat. We're a G3 dealer. All my new boats I'm sold out for the year. I won't get any more until 2022. Are you kidding me? We sold out of aluminum bass fishing boats about a month ago. And that was all the ones we were delegated for 2021. So this is a 2020, I think the gentleman traded in on a pontoon boat. Okay, so you got yeah. some more used boats? Okay, now what we do with all of our used boats, when we get them in, of course we go through, whenever we buy a used boat or we take a used boat on trade, we go through the compression, we go through the boat, find everything about it. We go over the trailers, make sure all the lights and everything works, and then we service the engines. So it does take a little bit of time from a boat that I have that's technically mine, but it's not on my showroom. You got some other stuff we can look at that's coming? Yes, we, right. got a, we got a bunch of stuff in inventory. and that's You cut off, sorry, my camera cut off. You said you do have some stuff in inventory yes, and it's and kind of rolling in day by day. Day by day. And I would service. imagine when you sell these, you most of the time you'll take a trade as well. Yes, sir. Okay. We love trade-ins. Yeah. Man, that's a lot of inventory. What was across the front wall? I didn't see those up that there. That one is a 2017, uh, that's a Cougar SP Advantage. That's so, a smoking deal for somebody because in 2017, Again, most of your boats had two strokes on it. That's one of the few that had a four-stroke Yamaha on it. Oh, okay. That boat has 109 hours, one owner. Uh, a retired Air Force man owned it. That's the one with the stickers on it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We do have it scheduled. We do have it scheduled to clean all of that off of it. But no, it is a sharp boat. I had some Helix 12s. Powerful blade, 250 show, and 109 hours. We just serviced it for It just needs to be cleaned up. It needs to be cleaned up and needs to be out on the lake. And you got another motorboat. This one is a 2013 Express that I took on trade from a police officer over in Shreveport, Louisiana, or Bossier. This bass cat, he was kind of diehard bass cat, had several cats, went the aluminum route for a couple years, and he went back to Nero. But that's a great little river boat too. Oh yeah. Or a crappie fishing boat. It is set up all Trex 115 Pro XS. It's ready for the lake or the river. 
I'm surprised you got this much inventory. It's not easy keeping it. Yeah, I bet not. I mean, everything is selling. We're just we're hustling, trying to get more. We're trying to, you know, when we sell a boat, we prefer to take a trade. You know, I sold him that ear, and I took this on trade. So we honestly we like taking trade in. So by the way, there you saw me kind of oogling on those little metal boats. I'm I'm really interested in doing a metal boat search. So we'll get into that uh, once we you know we've got a little one in the house. But as the summer progresses and Hopefully we can get out and run some metal boats and we're gonna do some testing on some metal boats and share our findings with that with you as well. So uh, hope you enjoyed that. And uh, so this week, tomorrow, we're going to do, let's see, what order are we gonna do these in? Tomorrow we're gonna to do the last of the video with Nick Peterson, uh, the performance propeller manager for Mercury Racing. We're gonna then do one behind that with Gary Deal, the performance propeller manager at Mercury uh, Props. So that video will be Wednesday, and then on Friday, we're going to do part two of the Allison. So stay tuned for those. And uh, then next week, we'll have another Rick Pierce video. We've got, i got a bunch of good stuff coming. And I'm hoping if they don't kick me out of the expo, I'm going to get a chance to film some folks over at the expo about some different topics I'm curious about. And I'll share those with you guys as well. So, you know, I said all that, and I didn't do a spark drawing. So this may be a little choppy. Sorry, guys. But let's do the spark drawing. I talked about everything else you can win a spark, but we didn't draw this week's winner. So we got a bunch of names in here, and we're going to go to the middle of the pack today. Normally, we, we'll take that one right there. That guy jumped out. So Craig Richard out of Lufkin, Texas. Craig, congratulations. You're our spark uh, $250 winner this week. Keep your eyes peeled for an envelope that says rewards on it. And that'll be your $250 gift card, usually in about two or three weeks. So there you go. So, thanks for tuning in, and we will see you hopefully Friday at the Expo. Thanks, guys.